Hello, art friends. Today, we are going to be using line, shape, and color to make a masterpiece. Something based off the art that we saw in the instructions. Now for this, we're actually also going to be doing some counting. So follow along with me. Because first, we need to add in some lines. For this, we're only going to use one line. I'm going to go to my marker. I'm going to get it a pretty good size and go all the way down to black so we can have some special colors toward the end. And from the top to the bottom or the bottom of the to the top, I'm going to add one line that's zigzaggy or swirly or wavy or however I'd like to have it. One line from top to bottom or bottom to top. I did kind of a wavy line and it had a little bit of a mistake, but that's okay. Now that's just one. For this next part though, it's two. Two lines from side to side. I'll do one line that's zigzaggy. And notice how the lines are going through each other. And let's do one line that's wavy. One and two. Now the last thing we need to count to is three, with three special shapes. We've got one line going from top to bottom, two lines going side to side, and we're going to draw in three special shapes. Let's do a circle here, a triangle there, and finish it off with a rectangle. Now we've got our one, two, three things. The one line going top to bottom, the two lines going side to side, and our three shapes. And I want you to look at all of these special areas created by the overlapping lines. The lines that go into the shapes, the shapes that go over the lines. We're going to use our highlighter tool here and all of these amazing colors to add our colors into these different areas. Let's start with a little bit of red inside of this right here. By combining our lines, our shapes, and our colors, we can make our very own masterpiece of art. Using what we've learned in class and combining them together, into what is called an abstract piece of art. Now, what colors you use, what shapes you drew, what lines you use, that is all up to you. But it is about combining them all together and using our colors to color inside of these different areas. That is very much the key to finishing this project up. We've got our primary colors here. How about we move on to our secondary colors? I'll do some green down here. Doing my best to stay inside of the shape, but if it goes a little bit outside of it, that is okay. Now remember, these step-by-step -step instructions can also be used on paper, but I want to use Seesaw to show you that this is able to be used by each and every one of us as best as we can. How about some orange? There we go. Orange. I'll do orange here, this big area right here. Notice how I'm trying my best to stay inside of my lines, the shapes that I'm doing, but if it gets a little messy, that's okay. using this nice orange color to fill this in. And then as I go along, I'll do my best to fill in everything else. But for this one, I think I'll do the colors of the rainbow. I think I'll finish up with a purple somewhere on here after I get this orange in here. And let's go down to purple. Oh, there it is. I think
think for purple, let's do it right here down in the bottom corner. Make my brush a little bigger. Now, when you're working on your own masterpiece, when you've got your one line going top to bottom, two lines going side to side, and three shapes, make sure to add those colors inside of them. And all of these white areas will be colored on the final thing as well. Take your time to color them however you'd like to add to your masterpiece, that abstract masterpiece. When you're all set, please answer your art questions. What is your favorite thing in the masterpiece? My favorite thing would probably be how the circle has this weird V shape in it. And what is the masterpiece called? What's the name of my masterpiece? Ooh, I got an idea. Because I used the colors of the rainbow, I'm gonna call it Rainbow Squiggles. Can't wait to see the amazing art that you make, art friends. Have a great day.